Welcome to Let Us Our Classes. So today I came with some new topic called as Skeleton Program. This is Cisco Skeleton Program 2025. So request all the viewers to watch this video till the end in order to get the complete knowledge regarding with the Cisco process. Check it out on the screen. Uh, there is a program called as Cisco Skeleton Program. Now we'll see what is the tagline of this program. Cisco Skeleton Program 2025. The major tagline of this program is learn and answer. So Cisco is conducting this program. So if you see there are various tracks, various tracks which are available in Cisco. If I go with the first one, Cisco is conducting a program on CCNA track for networking. In sense, the student can enroll for introduction to networks. The networking track, so majorly deals with the network essentials. Then data track, security track, cyber track, emerging track, and they are kept some uh, like maximum number of registrations like 7,000, 6,000. So they want those many students to register. So what are the various courses which a student can enroll and what are the benefits the student can gain? So if I go with the recognition, students are going to get a lot of batches, certificates. Once they complete the courses, like they are going to get a digital certificate, they are going to get a participation certificate. Along with that, they are going to get a achiever certificate. Top 50 students who have completed the courses, those students are going to get a, a Skillathon Achiever Certificate along with the, these details will be kept in a official Cisco website in terms of dashboard. Next, what are the courses which, which, where the student can uh, register in sense? The students can enroll for around 18 courses are available. Based upon the interest of the student, they can enroll for any course. Based upon the interest of the students, they can enroll for any course. So these are the various courses which are available there. So the student can enroll any one of the course, like networking, cyber threat management, networking essential, introduction to modeling, like that. So then as a part of the instructor, I'm a certified instructor, we said you. So I've enrolled a student details. So most of the students are getting confused how to get into the Cisco, how to complete the course. So I've added one student details here. I'll show you the details. So what you need to do, because the student need to go to the corresponding in instructor, the, wherever the student is studying. So go to the department, head of the department, or there will be a certified instructor in that college. To request them to add for the courses, they will add it. So I'll show you back and what the details, how the student can enroll it. Check it out. Now enroll a student. So as a certified instructor, I've added the student to the course. The student is very much interested in introduction to networks. He requested me to add in the course I've added. Once I've added the specified student into the course, the student got a mail. So check it out. You can check it out here clearly. Hello, Abiram from so and so college. So I've sent the request. In sense, I've added the student into the course. Now, in order to go with the course, the, what the student need to do in sense, student need to click on the accept invitation. So when the student clicks on the accept invitation, automatic, automatically it redirects, it redirects to the Cisco page. It redirects to the Cisco page. What the student need to do in sense, once he redirects to the Cisco page, he need to go with the login, login credentials. Just a second, accept invitation. Click on accept invitation. Automatically it goes to the Cisco official website. The Cisco official website is netacad.com. Now the student need to enter into the login instance. Student need to login into this Cisco. Now when the student, again I'm showing you here, the student need to accept the invitation, then automatically redirect, redirects to the netacad.com. Then the student will click on login here. This is our official Cisco website. The student need to click on login. Once he click on the login, he have two options. One thing he can enter a mail ID here and he can log in. For example, already have a Google account in his laptop or system or in a mobile. Directly can click on Google. Best option is so already the student login details are in the same laptop. So I log in through the Gmail to Google account. So click on the corresponding mail ID. So when I click on the corresponding mail ID, automatically it automatically ask the uh, it will redirect to the specified location. Just a second, it is asking some code. Yeah, once I accept it, automatically redirects to the Cisco. Now click on continue. 
So I want to enter into the Cisco Networking Academy. Just click on continue. So streamline your line. It is asking some information, some basic information. It is asking some basic information like country and region. For example, he belongs to India. So click on India, select state. So he's a person from Telangana region. So just have a Telangana here. Then click on continue. Again, it is asking some date of birth. Select here something like uh, 2000. Selecting some specified year. And month is something September. Click on continue. So once you have entered with all these details, the student official website, instance, student has been entered into the Cisco website automatically. Is asking some terms and conditions just to click it here to conditions. So terms and conditions, accept all these terms and conditions. Then click on accept and continue. Click on accept and continue. So once the student has clicked on accept and continue, he can again have his account in a NetAcad instance. Now check it out. I've said you that as a certified instructor, I have added the student into the course. Now this is student login. Now the student has added a course called as introduction to network. So check it out. This is student details. So like the student, um, uh, same student Abhiram. So these details are available here. So in these student details, the course is added by the instructor. Now what the student need to do in sense, in order to get the certificate, the student need to open this course. Just click on it, the course will be opened. So the student need to complete all these module exams, all these modules and a final exam. In order to get the certificate, each and every module you need to write the, you need to write all the modules. And for every module, there will be a final, every module there will be exam. You need to complete the assignment for each and every module. After completing all these modules, all the assignment exam, finally the student need to write the final exam. So he need to write the final exam, then he need to write the, he need to give the feedback. As he has not completed all these exams, so there is a lock is kept. Once he complete all the exam, then only can write the final exam. Once the final exam is completed and he gives a feedback, then automatically the student will get a certificate. So in order to get the certificate, student need not to go back to the instructor. Directly student can click on his profile. Once he has completed the certificate, there is an option called as batches and certificates. Click on it. So when the student has completed the certificate, the certificate will be added here. So these are the details in order to enroll for the Cisco, in order to complete with the process and do the courses. So when the student is added in the course, the student need to focus on the three things. One is what in what the course he is interested, ask the instructor to ask, ask the instructor to add the specified course. Second is date. You check it out here, December 1, 2025, the course is added and will be ended in December 30, 2025. So he need to complete all these courses. Once he has done, he need to approach the uh, instructor because again, the instructor need to give the approval after the completion in order to get the certificate. So this is my mind. I hope you have clearly understood. Yes, finally, what I want to conclude to the student is that approach your uh, respective college instructors, meet the instructor and request whatever the courses you are interested, make the courses to be enrolled by the instructor. So once the courses are completed, I can go back to the instructor because instructor need to give a final approval in order to get the certificate. I hope this video have helped you in all the experts in order to understand the Skillathon program, in order to understand how to enroll the first and get the certificate. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel to get the updates. Thank you very much.